Cat here. Today I'm going to make a video on how feasible is it to use Windows XP in the year 2016. Now for those of you who are not aware, Windows XP's official support from Microsoft was discontinued in April of 2014, which is almost two years ago now already. Anywho, so I have Windows XP Service Pack 3 here emulated in VMware. And so I'm going to go ahead and log in as administrator. Um, all right, here we go. As you can see, since I'm running on VMware, even if it was on a regular computer, boot up time is really, really extremely quick. And this is Service Pack 3, and most, a lot of companies still support Sir Windows XP Service Pack 3 running programs on it. Um, so anyways, let's have a look. So web browsing, the last supported browser from Microsoft for Windows XP is Internet Explorer 8. That was released back in 2009. So basically, if you want to view any modern websites, that's useless. So Firefox still supports Windows XP for web browsing. So here's Firefox right here. You can download the latest and greatest Firefox, which I believe is Firefox 44, or excuse me, 43, no they're on 44, I must have downloaded 43 for some reason, but it's downloading an update right now, 40 megabytes. Anyway, so long story short, web browsing is modern, everything Firefox is supported on Windows XP, Flash is supported I believe, Chrome? Last time I checked is discontinuing support in April of 2016, so you can still download the latest version of Chrome, but not for long. So, web browsing, since you can um, download Firefox, basically you're covered in that area. So what about other areas, you may ask? Uh, Microsoft Office, XP hasn't been supported since 2013, and the latest version, 2016, you might as well forget about it. Antivirus. Um, I managed to download a Vera antivirus. Luckily, there's still some porn in Windows XP. Microsoft Security Essentials was supported until last year, I believe, but they no longer support XP either. As far as downloading the latest and greatest Windows updates goes, you guys can still do that, but good luck doing it if you're trying to upgrade from an older version of XP. I was upgrading the other day from a version of XP at my job from Service Pack 2 to Service Pack 3, and that was a pain because Microsoft no longer has the official Service Pack 3 download on their website. So I had to download Service Pack 3 from a third-party website in order to install Service Pack 3, and that was a pain. But anyways, once you got Service Pack 3 installed, you can download the latest and greatest updates, and the latest and greatest Internet Explorer, which Microsoft also doesn't have for download on their website anymore for Windows XP. Anyways, instead of just looking at Firefox, let's try and use Windows XP on its core aspects. Now, for anyone who's used Windows for a long time will notice that the built-in programs to Windows XP, like Notepad for example, are virtually identical to the one in Windows 10. Even Paint, a long time staples of Windows, it's pretty similar to the latest and greatest versions. They'll still definitely support your basic computer needs. Windows Media Player, the version that's an XP that I have downloaded, it comes with Windows Media Player 9, which was released in 2003, but you can upgrade to 11, which is still works today for most videos. Anyways, if you guys want to see what Windows Media Player 9 looks like, I'm going to open it here, right here. I remember this because it had the disappearing title bar right here. Even today, you can still stream internet radio. I believe. Let's try Classic Rock. I like that click this. Dude. 
playing games, you may ask. When does XP ever since... I believe it stopped being supported. Most major game companies now, for the most part, more or less only support Windows 7 going forward, but before... But as far as games before 2014 go, you can definitely probably play most games, unless they were rely on the newer versions of DirectX. And... Yeah, as far as other areas of XP goes, once again, it's still speedy, it's still really similar to Windows 10, believe it or not. Um, the, but the interface, on the other hand, looks really outdated. I don't think it looked that good even back in 2001, to be honest, but what do I know? And yeah, that's basically it, I think. So yeah, thanks for watching.